Welcome, my name is Matt, or it's Beast34, and today I will show you how to make a Minecraft LAN server so you can play on Wi-Fi with your friends or family. So I'll also go over common issues that people face, such as a firewall blocking the server from working correctly, and common issues where people are not on the same Minecraft version. So I'm doing this on 1.15.2, it'll work on any version I believe, but what you want to do first is go to single player. You can create a new world, but make sure it's in the same version that your um, Minecraft is in. So this is in 1.152.2, and this is in 1.12.2. So I can't use this one, as you can see, because my Minecraft is 1.15.2. I could run my Minecraft in 1.12.2, but I'll just do a new world. So now when you're in the world, you can hit escape, Go to open to land, you can change whatever you want here. Start LAN world. It'll say the port it is hosted the game on. And you can write that down if you want. So now it's open to LAN. So that means anyone on the same Wi-Fi network as you can join it. But they have to be on the same exact Minecraft version. And if you have mods on this world, then they have to have the same exact mods. So now we'll go on the other uh, computer to see but this this guy will have to be open for the other computer to join so the host computer has to be open in order for the land world to work sometimes when you're trying to connect to the host it may not show the server automatically so in this case you need to get your ipv4 address and the port that the server was set up earlier on so in this case earlier in the tutorial it said the port, so we need that in order for the other player to connect. So what the other player will connect is your IPv4, the host IPv4, colon the port. So in this case the port is 50685, and now you need to figure out what the IPv4 is of the host computer, which is this computer I'm on right now. So in order to find the IPv4, you need to go into CMD, type IP config, locate the thing that says IPv4 address, and just copy that down. Write that down somewhere. That's your IPv4 address. Then you do colon port. So what this is, is what anyone who wants to connect to this server should enter. They have to be on the same Wi-Fi network and they have to be running the same Minecraft version in order to use this address. So on the other computer, I'll show you what to do now. So this is the computer that wants to join the game. This is not the computer that's hosting it. They haven't done anything. They've not opened it to LAN. This is just someone on your Wi-Fi network who wants to join. So what they're going to do is that they are going to hit multiplayer. They're going to scroll down to the bottom. Sometimes it will show up the server here and you won't even need to enter what we just did with the IPv4 and the port. But in this case, it's not showing up for some reason. So what you want to do is you can either direct connect and enter the address or you can add a server. I'll just go with direct connect. So now enter the IPv4 address which is what we got from the host computer before and enter the port which also showed up once we made the server hit join server once you have your the host ipv4 and the port and you will enter the server so there is our other member of the server you can hit tab to see who else is in the server also another important thing that i forgot to include was that each time you leave your server, like I just did, each time the host leaves, leaves the server, you have to reopen it to LAN. So I'm going to go back in, and as you can see, it it's not open to LAN anymore. So each time you X out, you have to open it to LAN. You can change these settings again if you want, and then start LAN world. It'll change the port, and all you have to do for users who want to join, they just put the same IPv4 that they put before, but they just change the port number to whatever it shows here because a LAN game will randomize the port on your server. 
Now for common issues that people face in creating the servers are the firewall blocking it basically and them entering the wrong IP address. So make sure you're entering the correct IP address which is from the host computer, the one I'm on right now. And make sure you are entering the correct port which will show up once you start the game. And another issue people face is that the host computer they try to join the server, but the host computer doesn't have the world loaded. In order for you to join a LAN server, the host computer, which is the one I'm on right now, has to have the server up and running, or has to have the world up and running. So if I shut this down and try to get the other person to join, someone else on the network, it would not work because I'm the host. I'm going to show what happens in McAfee and in Windows Firewall. So I'm going to go to change settings, firewall, then I'm going to go to internet connections for programs, sort it alphabetically by clicking that twice, so it's the up arrow. Now go to J, so go to Java Platform SE Binary. So this is what you need to change. It'll be on designated ports and on. You want to change that to all devices and off on each of these instances. So in order to change that, hit edit. Change this to open to all devices and turn off NetGuard. And now you'll be able to join. That's an issue that prevents some people. It doesn't always prevent it, but sometimes it prevents you from joining the server. That actually did happen to me where McAfee blocked the server from running. Windows Firewall is also something that can block the LAN server from running. So in order to get to this, you want to go to Control Panel, System and Security, or you can just search it in the bottom left, search Windows Firewall, and just click here. Or actually, or you would have to click here. But basically, once you get in this section, go to Allow an App through Windows Firewall. Once you're in Windows Firewall, you want to go down to J, and for some people it may show Java Platform SE Binary, and then you want to enable that so it can access through the, through the firewall if it's being blocked. So hit change settings, and then you would just uncheck Java Platform SE Binary. Leave a comment if you have any issues with the LAN server, and I will do my best to get back. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and also check out my new graphics fiber store in the description if you would like to thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time